Gran Turismo Sport is serious business. It's a flagship franchise and platform seller for Sony. It's an official FIA sanctioned championship. It's racing in thousand dollar sim racing rigs, bitching about the penalty system every three minutes. It is serious. The random the dog series is serious research. Research into the racing series of the future. After coronavirus wipes out 85% of humanity and whatever artificial intelligence resides within Donald Trump nukes the remainder of the planet, claiming its rightful throne as God King of Humanity. Or actually, it's just a series all about gaming the systems that govern it. The premise is simple. Six weeks, two 20 minute races per night, one of three specified cars. Any more details than that are courtesy of RM Jesus. The track is randomly selected in the room. Any track that's not a dirt track, for logistical reasons, may be selected. From Sakuba to the Nordschleife, from Spa to Special Stage Route X. Yes, I'm really gonna throw that one at you. The car is randomly selected for each race, which means that yes, you might end the night in a different car than the one you started in. Wait, that sounds... And can be either... A Renault Clio that fishtails like nothing else. A Porsche Club Sport that doesn't turn. A Master Roadster Touring Car, which is definitely not a race car. <coughs> that feeds on your will to live because it's that uninteresting to drive. As if all of this wasn't enough, we have an even worse penalty system than sport mode. Yes, we've checked, it is possible. Our scientists have been hard at work, whenever they were not distracted with finding a cure for coronavirus, that is, making something even more hilarious to listen to people rant about, and they believe they've cracked it. In the break between races 1 and 2, the stars will decide what sort of penalty system to apply that night. It can choose between four levels of penalties. No penalties, fair penalties, strict penalties, and one, two, Arnie's coming for you. So you may drive like it's GTA Online in race one and come out fine because the algorithm decides it can't be bothered with such a trivial thing as penalties. Or you can drive perfectly respectfully, be on the receiving end of a dive bomb from the Andromeda Galaxy and be banned from the Random Dark Food Processor series for life. Because no, the algorithm does not particularly care if the penalty is applied to the correct person. If you're somehow still interested in the biggest online sim racing shitpost since Max Bands, you can find the link to the GTP thread in the description. They'll fill you in on all the necessary details. If you need any more call to actions than that, here's a few helpful signs. Now loop up.